high in carbs. 229 calories. It's just missing one ingredient. Human blood! <laughs> Terror! Fear! My god! They're everywhere! <laughs> no place is safe! Hey, I I'm the security guard. You guys better watch out. Where will you be when Mars attacks? So, what did you think? Why is it always food with you? You're like J.J. Abrams with aliens. I prefer Matthew McConaughey in food. Yes, but he uses food in a different way. George, you seem to have a fascination with using food and shooting on the same location. But I make good films, quality films, films for families. George, your movies are only ever going to be housed in dark theaters that's only going to seat maybe 60 people. Maybe there's a stage on the front of the theater or something, I don't know. No one of actual consequence is going to see this movie, and anyone who does isn't going to go on to do anything important. I'm sorry, it's over. Oh, okay. Uh, thanks for your time, then. <sighs> Who the hell was that? Oh, he was a nobody. Don't pay attention to him. Oh, okay. Um, by the way, Mr. Del Toro is out in the waiting room there. Does he have an appointment? with you or something today? What's the date today? Oh no, he's just here for his bi-weekly gloating about winning two Oscars. Oh. <laughs> I didn't even have to show the fishman's cock! Get out of here, Del Toro! You never should've won it! It's a blue! I will see you at two Oscars! <laughs> I use these as thumbstops. Okay, now that that's taken care of, mm -hmm. what's next on the agenda? Well, there's a, an exec coming from upstairs. She has some movie posters that she wanted to discuss with us. And when is that happening? Darling, these are hot off the press. Oh, okay. Now, as you may remember, last year we had a film called We Bought a Zoo. This year, we're bringing out We Bought a Zoo 2. Animals are fucking expensive. And when that is a critical success, and like I'm sure the first one was, we've got We Bought a Zoo 3, Venezuelans Ate My Animals. Do we have anything not zoo related? How about Reservoir Guide Dogs, a story of six villains that are trying to rob a bank, but they're blind, so they have to use their guide dogs for help. I see you're not impressed with that one, despite your really cool uh, poster. Okay. How about Daniel Stern in Ah, oh, I'm covered in goddamn spiders! Like, we really put spiders on him. Is this a goddamn joke? Am I being pranked? Is there a hidden camera somewhere? What is this? These are terrible ideas! Who would present this? We do have a remake of Glen or Glenda called Tuck It In C. And. Who is supposed to star in this movie? Skeleton. Pardon me? Scarlett Johansson? Yeah, we're gonna take a pass on that one. Yeah. Do you have anything else? Um, well... We do have the story of a man that is slowly metamorphosizing into a bar of soap. And we were, we were, we were going to call it metamorphosis. I want you to imagine something with me, if you will. I want you to imagine premium investors 
handing you your ass. My ass? Yes. Your literal <gasps> ass. Guys, guys, I have had a great idea and I think it's something you guys need to hear right now, okay? Picture this. We hold a film festival and people pay to enter and we showcase their films. Well, it better be good. We're kind of striking out. Striking out? Some of us are already out of the game. What do you have? All right, so imagine this, okay? We give them each a set number of hours to make their movie. So in that hours, they have to write, edit, direct, and then submit their films. That's not a bad idea, but how would it work? Simple. Rules. We give them a prop, a line of dialogue, a character, and make sure that they're well within the parameters. Well, how is that helpful? Yeah, just like that. And then we can have all the teams vote for who had the best film, and then we just hand out awards. Okay, all right then. So if we're gonna go with this idea, should we make it so that they can't vote for their own films? And how is that helpful? Well, uh, what kind of prizes should we hand out then? Well, we just threw out a bunch of recording equipment. I'm sure we can give them that. I'd like to be a fly on the wall for this one. Do you think the jokes are a little too obvious, though? Yeah, they might get a little upset. Maybe we should be so on the nose. Well, how is that helpful? So the festival was a huge success. We made millions of dollars and we were able to finance all of our film projects. Though I quit the movie business. It became too hectic in the end. I retired with all my earnings and I left town. But if you're wondering what happened to me, well, I bought a zoo.